What is going on, YouTube? PPS here, YouTube play of the day. One spot today um, for today's slate, MLB slate. Um, coming off of yesterday, past the prop, obviously we had plays for tonight's NFL game. So if you guys do want plays for that, make sure you go check that out. Um, was the last video posted under the live section? Um, cash my first leg. I played it with um, the Dodgers team total three and a half yesterday. Um, felt great about that. They obviously did their job. Put up a nine piece um, yesterday and looked awesome doing it. So we got that one. Um, what else? We we had a sweep on the show last time. So we had Royals race to three. Um, this was Wednesday. I know I played Royals Race to three the last two days. Or the last, yeah, two or three days I played this. So let's check Tuesday. Just confirming because I did cash one. Oh, this one did not cash. So this one would switch. I've cashed it the day before. So make sure I get that adjusted. I don't want to lie to you guys. Obviously, that's not what we're here for. Uh, um, so this one lost. Um, and the Mets team total won uh, on that day. They scored 10 in that game. So. They ended up clearing the total by themselves. So 10 runs for the Mets in that game. Um, cashing as a plus money spot. Moves us to 60, 44, 13.68 units. Sorry about that. Obviously, I, you guys know I, I'm not going to come up here and just lie to you guys straight up. That's not what we're about. But I did. I, I know you guys, obviously, if you've been following me, I played the Royals race to three the day before as well in a cash. So, um, and then last night I played the Tigers race to three because Tarek Skubal and obviously that cash is because the dude's a Absolute dog. So, um, love seeing that. Terry Schoolball, man. What a beast. What a what a beast. Um, let me pull up my DraftKings right now. This will be what I'm playing today. I'm going back to the Dodgers. Um, team total three and a half. Um, so, if you guys want um, and you didn't get to play my my play from past the prop yesterday, just play it. Just redo it today. I actually really like today's spot as well. Um, and it's going to be the Dodgers going against Edward Cabrera. I know Edward Cabrera has good stuff. Like, it's it's pretty weird that this dude has the stuff he has and just gives up the amount of power that he does. Right? He gives up absolute bombs. Um, and just... If he is not missing your bat, it is hit very hard. And this is not a team I want to do that with. Um, I know he's got good numbers at home, 3-6 ERA. My biggest issue with him is, first off, trying to be a ground ball guy, right? Obviously, he's about 45 to 48% on the ground balls um, going around there. But when you go up against the top, the top lefties that these guys have, right, he has 1.75 home runs per nine. Yes, you heard that right. 1.79 home runs per nine to lefties. So that is very tough. His batting average on balls in play is very low. So I'm expecting that to come around as well. Uh, I'm just very nervous for this matchup for him. Um, his XFIP, about 4.64 4 against lefties. Um, just very concerning with the amount of power given up by this guy and also the bullpen is very very bad um and, and this has been talked about for a while they've been even throwing some of their bullpen arms into the starting rotation um and the coffin guy was in the bullpen for a little while and now he's moving into the starting spot because this bullpen is pretty brutal so um uh, dodgers team total three and a half obviously i always like the dodgers score here um midday game you get jack flaherty on them on on your side i think they put up four um, Logan Webb, a guy that I usually take a lot. I like to bet on Logan Webb a ton, but tough spot for me to want to back him here. Five hits allowed. Um, he's on the road. First off, obviously, that is something huge for me um, as a guy who, who bets Logan Webb as much as possible. He is a guy who is a different guy at home, right? It's, and it's pretty pretty evident um, in, in his total numbers. But dude gives up a ton of hits. Um, seven, 10, and eight over his last three games. That's against Marlins, San Diego, and San Diego. My thing is that San Diego does not strike out, right? They do not strike out versus righties. And the Orioles have a 20% K rate against righties as well, which, in my opinion, is for a team with this much power is very, very low. That's sixth lowest in the MLB um, against right-handed pitching. So 
I really like this spot for the Orioles, especially when you look at Logan Webb's hard hit percentage. It's at 46.6%, guys. That's bottom 5%. Like, he gives up a lot of hard contact. Yes, a lot of it's on the ground. But you have a team here who has a 116 WRC plus against right-handed pitching. You have them at home. I think Logan Webb gives up a ton of hits today. Um, and this Orioles offense kind of wakes up a little bit more today. So, love this spot for Logan Webb. Both teams should get a ton of hits in this game. F1 on the other side is not missing a ton of bats either. So it could be a fun game to watch, one that people probably aren't going to look at. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Obviously, like I said, if you have any more um, questions about the show yesterday, uh, drop those in the comments in the video over there. Sorry, my allergies are just kicking my butt. That's why my eyes just keep – they're just watering like crazy right now. I don't know why um, it had to wait till the show was on. But um, appreciate all your support as always. If you could hit that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we can catch another ticket for you guys. So thank you guys and uh, best of luck on all your bets tonight, whether it's NFL or MLB. Thank you guys. Have a good one.